So Brandon, uh, I didn't get the video on this earlier, but we got a nice bull down. Tell us what happened real quick. We're going to go finish him off. Uh, Adam was over trying to scare the other bunch of caribou, and then he saw this huge one. He's trying to signal us, and I thought he was saying his uh, four-wheeler broke down, but instead it was a big bull. Um, I saw it and shot it once, then missed the second shot, and then put him down the last shot. All right, let's go finish him off. I don't want him to suffer anymore. I want you to walk. Uh, we're going to walk together. Come on over on this side here. Very, very carefully place your crosshairs right below his ear. But wait a minute. Right below his ear. Okay. Hang on. Yeah, when you're ready. Good job. Done deal. Good job, son. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let's go check him out. What do you do when you walk up on him? Check if he's dead. Poke him. How are you going to do that? You going to poke him in the butt? Uh, poke him in the butt? Him. Yeah. He's still kicking there a little bit, so give him a little poke. Okay. His nerves are still racking. See how his ears are starting to drop? Yes. Once his ears drop. Right now it's just his nerves kicking. He had a lot of uh, a lot of adrenaline in him. So he stopped breathing. He's a nice caribou. Real nice caribou for Nelchina. Good job. Your dad will be proud. Adam, what do you think? First caribou hunt. You want, you want my honest opinion? <laughs> I, feel, I feel really bad for the animal. I really, I really do. I really feel bad. That's why it's hard for me to go hunting. Yeah, I know. The cycle of life is part of it. And uh, it is hard to see it, but, you know, God put them on the face of this earth to take care of us as humans, to feed us. And uh, it's nice to be in a situation where you have one and not need it, rather than need it and not have it. He's a nice caribou. Sometimes the dying part's not the easiest. But he's dead now.